Well, it's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you've watched the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense consummate sticker and mover he gets his head off of the center line and even when you think you have him in a compromising position more often than not he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way this guy is a wrestler and wrestling is perhaps the most important aspect of mixed martial arts because the wrestler if he has control over his opponent can dictate where the fight takes place So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, keeping you there, using the body weight effectively so that you can't get up or use a hip escape. This guy will sap your willpower with the best of them, and more often than not, guys, just have to give up and, and wait for the round to end. This guy has outstanding takedown defense. His sprawl, his timing, and his ability to get up are amongst the best in the world. Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Sacramento, California. Go! Record of 17 wins, one loss. He's down six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Pakistan, Russia, Zombie Magomedov. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the Here's octagon the front, for this one. Let's go. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, good power left kick. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Another shot lands upstairs. Great combinations. I like the way he's mixing these up. Nice inside leg kick. Really missed with that right hand. Tags him. Oh! He got hurt very, very badly. Oh! What a leg kick! Oh, he might be out! Oh! Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, and he connects there. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. Oh, nice. Head kick. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Good scramble. Quick jab. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Nice leg kick. In on a single here. Take down here, he gets it. And 
busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Nice leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. One minute to go in round one. Beautiful inside leg kick. Good combinations here. Ooh. Oh! These are some bombs he is throwing. And he connects there, Joe. 20 seconds to go in round one. Misses a huge hook to the head. Round two next. Stop, stop, stop. Let's take a look at some of the action from this round. Here's a perfect head kick. And here's another clean shot that lands. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Some real clean striking on display in that round. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Connects with the punch there, Joe. Nice inside leg kick. Good shot. Oh, great combination. Whoa! This could be it. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh, excellent exchange there. Look at that jab, nice. Hand speed, man. That one hurt. It looks like he's injured. Oh, a huge inside leg kick for him. Nice inside leg kick. Three minutes to go. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. It looks like he may be attempting a submission here. movement here on the ground. Just over two minutes now to go on the round. He's in mission control here. He's now working from full guard. Gets back to rubber guard. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's got to protect himself from the ground and pound, though. Nice sweep right into half guard. Full guard here. Trying to take the back here. All right, so he just decides to get up here, Joe. And he lands a very nice combination. Good combination so far from both men. There's a good knee to the body. Oh, he's got to be careful here. Front kick to the face. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, there he connected. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here. Round three next. Here's a huge kick that stuns.
And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. And here we see that again. Keep that pace up. Wow, I'm impressed. You're really broken down with your striking. Keep that going. The inside low kick is awesome. Ariane Celeste doing her thing as usual. Nice punch. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. That bruise on his outer thigh is really getting nasty. Oh, man. He's clearly in pain. He's trying to hang on there, but he is in big trouble. Nice leg kick. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. Oh, that punch will count. The end of flex. And there he swung with the haymaker. Back to the clinch now, Joe. That knee might have landed there. Caught him with a punch. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. And he's going to try to take the back. Both hooks in. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. Switches to the body triangle to tighten down on his opponent's abdomen, then switches to the full rear naked choke. That rear naked choke is in deep. Any second now, he may have to tap. Under two minutes to go. And he's free. That rear naked choke was very tight. Hard. It appears that cut is getting worse. And there's the single leg. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's looking to take the back. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, he tagged him with the left. He's got him hurt here. Judges see it, but there was the official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30 27 for the winner by unanimous decision. Zombie Mario Manchari! All right, so there he is after what you could argue is the biggest win of his UFC career, and at least in terms of the performance, I think his skills have never looked better. And now I think you can start to picture him as a future contender type in this division. So we'll see what the matchmakers choose to do from here. Tonight, though, the celebration is on after he gets a big win by way of decision. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You gotta touch. You have to Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Kimbo Slice and Tim Johnson.
You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. This guy has world-class takedown defense. He is incredibly difficult to take down. And once you do get him down, he gets back to his feet very swiftly. Well, a few years ago, he was brawling in the backyard. Now he is on the UFC roster. Here he is, the internet sensation, Kimbo Slice. You know about the power, and he's worked very hard on the other mixed martial arts skills. We'll see if he can put that hard work in the gym into action in the octagon tonight. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. If this fight comes to a striking exchange, he will have a distinct advantage. Hard tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart, with similar height and the same reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is an mixed martial artist, holding the professional record of 12 wins, four losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Buddy out of Fargo, North Dakota, USA, Timothy Johnson. And now he's going to be fighting out of the corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of four wins, one loss. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida. Kimbo! Slice! I would be after the end of the referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment you here. You ready? We are underway. Oh, he got cracked. Pretty good straight punch for him there, Joe. Johnson gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He goes for the early takedown. No problem there. The next with a right. Tries to pass, but cannot. Full mount. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. He's putting himself into a position to isolate an arm. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over, and he's out of the arm bar. He's got the Kimura. He got his arm free. And he establishes full mount. Oh, right hand is there for him, Joe. He's in full guard. He's back in half guard now. Now he gets the full mount again. Looks like he's looking for an arm bar. He's free from the arm bar. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Johnson. It looks like he's hunting for an arm here. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. He popped out of the arm bar. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Good exchange there. Checks the leg kick. Yeah, he's got a nice snap to that leg kick. Very nice. Well, Joe, you got to fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop moving in. He's being creative in there. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Slice. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Wow! Effective punch there by Johnson. 
Working on a single leg here. Back to the single. He's looking for Kimura. He's got his arm pinned down. He yanked out of the Kimura. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Effective punch there by Swiss. Four right. sounds for the end of round one. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. Incredible highlights in that round. Brittany Palmer. Are you ready? You ready? Oh. Round two underway. Swice gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, nice straight there by Johnson. Takes him down. He's in half guard. He does have full guard here, which is still dangerous. He's got a half guard here. Full mount. He's in a position where he's going to get arm barred here. He's got to be very careful. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. And he got out of the arm bar. Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. Johnson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Moves from half guard and into side control. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Johnson gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Into side control again. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Kimbo Slice. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And Izzy as he looks to improve position here. Inside control once again. He's back to full mount again. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. Back to side control. Mount again. Full back mount here. Oh, this is nasty. He's going for the rear naked choke now. Now he's got it. He opens it up. Pulls him onto his back, goes palm to palm here. He escapes the rear naked choke. He hits him with a hammer fist. Working on another submission attempt here. He's free for the triangle. 30 seconds to go in round two. Well, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. Excellent movement here on the ground. Well, right, that's the end of round number two. Beautiful strike here, lands on target. Here we see some beautiful striking and perfect time. Big round. The OG Ariane Celeste in the building with us tonight. Are you ready? You ready? Oh. Here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Oh, he just continues to land with a high volume of strikes here. Not unlike the previous round, Joe. And at least... Oh! He's badly, badly hurt. Threw everything into that uppercut. 
uppercut, but fell short. Ooh, beautiful hook there. Big Vicious body shot. shot. Body. How about that chin? Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. you got to get that head off the center line. Slips. Lands a jab. Slice gets the single leg takedown. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, reversal. Yeah, here he goes again. Three minutes to go in round three. He got tagged there. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Bleeding from his cheek now. Now he goes for the single leg. And he grabs the single. He's going for an armbar here. And he escaped the armbar. Trying to set up a sub here, Joe. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. It's very close here. There's more and more pressure on the arm. He could be tapping any second. He lands a big shot from the bottom. In half guard. Final minute of the fight. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. He escaped the triangle. That punch is good. Working on another submission attempt here. 30 seconds to go. He's got the leg over the shoulder. Now, he's gonna pull down on his shin. It looks like he's got that triangle locked up tight. All right, so this fight will go to a decision. We should have a clear winner in this one. You never know with those scorecards, of course, but in all likelihood, this will be a unanimous decision after a most dominant effort here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 30-27, 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Kim So Kimbo Slice is in the win column, and what a big performance it was out of him here tonight. And this sets him up for a massive fight now moving forward. So a lot of options for Kimbo Slice on the strength of this performance here tonight.
It's a middleweight matchup between Lyoto, the Dragon Machida, and Robbie Lawler. So we get another look tonight at the former UFC welterweight champion, Robbie Lawler. Longtime American top team staple realized his best success under the ATT banner has since moved on, but there is no denying just how much he has brought to the octagon. So many seminal moments for ruthless Robbie Lawler. This guy is a great striker. What he wants to do is land hard and early, get the respect of his opponent, and avoid any grappling exchanges. UFC fight and the UFC light heavyweight title to his credit. Here is the karate practitioner, the unorthodox Miyoto, the Dragon Machida. Won that UFC light heavyweight title with that unforgettable knockout of Rashad Evans back in UFC 98. We'll see if he's more aggressive though tonight. Seems like the speed is still there. The power is the last thing to go, but a lot of people looking for more aggression and more urgency out of Miyoto Machida tonight. Ryota Machida is a snipe. Our tail of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and the same reach. Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC middleweight division. It's a music first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Only a professional record on. 28 wins, 12 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Cook of the Creek, Florida, USA, Ruthless Robbie Lawler! And now the music opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A karate player holding a professional record of. 24 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. And we are underway here at the Mecca, Madison Square Garden in New York City. All right, Leona Machida ready to go for round one. Perhaps we'll see a little bit of a feeling out process here. Leona Machida, a very difficult guy to prepare for, to get a feel on. You know, he's a fast starter, and he has a lot of first-round wins to his credit. But when it comes to the opponent, perhaps some tentativeness in the early going as they try to get a beat on what Lyoto Machida is trying to do. Right hand upstairs. Joe, what are you looking for out of him here in the early going? Lyoto Machida can do it all with his striking, but one of his best weapons is his left hook. Oh, tagged him. And he connects with the punch there. Oh, strong punch there by Robbie Law. Oh, nice single. Look at that. And he connects there. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. executed sweep takes the back now going for the rear naked choke got the arm underneath the chin he's got that choke sunk in he might get a finish here this choke is getting very tight. He might have to tap any second now. That's it. And that will do it. 
set it up, closed it off, got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, Joe, he told us during fight week he's been working dutifully on his submission game, and he was going to look for an opening here tonight. Safe to say he found one near-perfect setup on the choke. It was sunk in deep, and his opponent had Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, five seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Leo Machida. Well, some question whether or not Leoto Machida was capable of this type of performance. Well, the former UFC light heavyweight king certainly answered all of those questions and then some with his skills tonight. This is a hard guy to simulate in training. That much we know, and his opponent just really didn't have much in terms of answers tonight. It is a women's 115 pound matchup between Randa Marcos and Paige Van Zandt. Well, she finished second as the runner-up on Dancing with the Stars, but this is a fighter's fighter. 12-gauge Paige Van Zandt, the longtime Team Alpha male representative, and really is just getting started. Outstanding striker with a lot of finishing instincts, has started to work dutifully on the grappling and the wrestling to sort of round out her MMA game. But Paige Van Zandt, already a contender, and still just 23 years of age. This girl has excellent footwork. It's one of her strongest qualities. She is very difficult to hit, and she can close the distance and hit you very quickly. Very tough to train with anybody who can emulate the type of footwork that she possesses. Well, here's the Michigan top team rep, Randa Quiet Storm Marcos, and what a story it is for Marcos. Escaped from Baghdad, Iraq with her family when she was three years old and has gone on to UFC glory. In terms of women, Representing Canada, perhaps nobody has higher expectations than Randa Marcos. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu blue belt, outstanding grappler, and given her backdrop, right, escaping out of Iraq, Joe, no denying the determination and all the heart that Randa Marcos brings to the table. This girl has outstanding top control. She is one of the best in the business at holding fighters down and beating them up. She is so good at controlling the position that once her opponent gets taken down and put into that position, it's very rare that you see anyone escape. It is one of her best assets. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter with a professional record of seven wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, USA, 12 gauge, Paige Benzah! And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of eight wins, seven losses, and one draw. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Red and when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. You ready to fight? You ready? And we are underway. Well, at times in the UFC, Randa Marcos has gotten behind on the scorecards and has fallen victim to the split decision. So we'll see if Randa Marcos tonight, with an added emphasis on round one, can get off to a good start here in enemy territory. Now mixing one into the body. Strong work with the inside leg kick. All right, first round is underway now, and you got to watch out for her powerful overhand punches. Most fighters in this division, they know what's coming, but as yet, they've been unable to stop it. Let's see how it goes here early on in this one. Slightly deflected. That one hurt. Oh, how about the output for this fighter here? A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. And she connects there. Marcos gets the takedown. Now let's see if 
if she chooses to pass here. Changes her stance yet again. She's try to establish that jab. Look at that. Nice. Van Zant gets caught by that straight hand. Oh! To the face. This could be it right here. Good oh! right hand. Beautiful right hand. Hard uppercut to the head. Look at this. Take down. Marcos gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Good shot to the head. Effective punch there by Marcos. Back to Orthodox. Nice. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, vicious knee to the body. Oh. Oh. Whoa. A minute to go. Nice. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. She gets in a full guard here. Oh, she connected flush. Nasty ground and pound here. Well, you got to try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here. Nice punch. but not before she got absolutely starched by that huge shot just before the final horn. So she goes back to the stool now. We'll see the extent to which she can recover. As many of you know, 60 seconds, not a lot of time. And here's a huge, perfectly placed punch that lands with devastating impact. Brittany Palmer in the building. Round two is underway. Counter kick to the body there by Marcos. Nice. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Pretty good jab there by Van Zandt. How about that chin? Van Zandt's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice. Goes for a single. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. Big punch. She's working from half guard. Big body punch. Now she's in full guard. And they clinch here. Just over three minutes to go. Stuffed it. Stuffed it. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Randa Marcos. Oh, oh how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Trying to spin to the back. Oh, hammer fist here by Randa Marcos. Shooting for the takedown here. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm in range. That one hurt. 
there's a nice straight right hand. 90 seconds to go now. She moves to half guard. Hammers. Excellent grounded pound here by Van Zandt. Under a minute to go. He's trying to take the back here. And full back. She's in half guard now. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Nice. Twenty seconds to go. Good defense there. Ten seconds to go. Uh, and that's the end of round uh, number two. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Ariane Celeste is with us. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we go. Third and final round. Nice body work for her here, Joe. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Straight right hand, but she misses. Marcos gets caught with that punch. We show you the total strikes. Oh, big shots. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Marcos goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that. Attempt. Well, she got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe, and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range. Let's see if she can move that upper body and get her head off the center line. Struggling to get the clinch. Oh, effective strike from the clinch there by Randa Marcos. Nice. Knee the body. Over underhooks here on the clinch, Joe. We'll see what she can do with it. Marcos has got double underhooks now. Van Zant's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Boy tie clinch here, Joe, could be trouble. And they move out of the clinch. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. Both fighters exhausted here. And there's the shot, and there's the land. Nice takedown there by Randa Marcos. One and a half minutes to go in this third and final round. She missed with that jab. Oh! Oh! Double jab. Well, she whips on the straight right hand. Oh, big shot. Oh! This could be it right here. Oh! Hard Superman punch. Oh, big left hook there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Now closes the distance. She pummels and secures double underhooks. From the clinch now. Nice trip for her as she gets the takedown. What a fight. All right, so to the surprise of some, this one goes to a decision.
both fighters landed a number of significant strikes. You see the visible damage on both sides. Let's see which woman emerges with the big win here tonight. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. All three judges score the contest for 928. For the winner, by unanimous decision, 12 gauge Paige Van Zandt. So time to exhale for Paige Van Zandt, your winner here tonight. And there it is, that million dollar smile. We've essentially watched her grow up inside the octagon and evolve her skills. Clearly tonight, she took her game to that requisite next level. Let's see if now she draws a top five opponent here at 115 pounds. Yo, I came to do damage, not hurt anybody. In the same club that used to tear everybody. I put in 25 hours out, I worked everybody. Big money, I know All right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between Gokhan Suck and Alexander Gustafson. Well, he made his UFC debut back in 2009 and really has been competing with the elite ever since. Here is Sweden's finest. Alexander the Mauler Gustafsson, twice he has fought for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship, was very close to bringing the belt back to Sweden several years ago against John Jones. On any given Saturday night, you could be looking at the best 205-pound fighter in the world. Alexander Gustafsson is an ever-improving mixed martial arts fighter with incredible promise. He has a long reach, outstanding footwork, great striking and jiu-jitsu, and a love for the game. So as this guy makes the walk here tonight, let's talk about the kicking technique. It is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph anything. He gets his foot to the target blindingly fast. Shades of Edson Barboza, the foot off the canvas to the target as quick as anyone you'll ever see. Guys don't even see it coming. His opponent's certainly weary of those lightning fast kicks coming into the octagon tonight. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. His opponent is gonna need to keep his chin tucked and his hands up high. for this light heavyweight tilt. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Light heavyweight division. It's your district coach, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding his national record on. 18 wins, five losses. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Alexander the Baller And now introducing the opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of one win, two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Gokhan, the Rebel Sati! And the attributes are referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. You ready to fight? You ready? And we are underway at the Mecca, Madison Square Garden in New York City. Nice punch there by Gustafson. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. He gets tagged again. Oh, and he hit a front kick. Lands to the body. He is really finding a home for those body kicks. Oh, absolutely. 
Joe. These body kicks are significant strikes. You're starting to wonder how much more he can take. Oh, Look like it did stun him a little bit. He's got to be careful here. He's clearly in trouble. Oh, straight right. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Gustafson gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. How about that shin? Oh, his leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit, Joe. Nice. Back and forth we go! Oh, he brought that offense, Joe. Tags him with the left hand. Damaging strike there. Well, he established the jab early and going right back to the well here. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Landed that one. That's a powerful to the head. Fainting with that kick. Finds his range with the jab. Oh, and he lands another jab, using the jab beautifully all night. He just whips that punch in. Didn't quite connect. He just landed an outstanding leg kick. Oh, nice punch there by Alexander Gustafson. He missed with that jab attempt there. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Fifteen seconds to go. Nice shot. Well, Gustafson's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. It's uh, true. Uh, well, at this point in time, we'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. Here's a big leg kick. Here's a powerful leg kick. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Brittany Palmer with us. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Oh, oh he with a huge right hand. hand! That one hurt him badly. Tries a big oh. hook to the head, but misses. High kick! He hurt him! Huge uppercut misses. Gustafson gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. The left hook hits home. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Oh, he's hurt again. He's definitely wild. Oh, he might be out. Another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Well, without much resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. Hit him with the jab. Oh, man, look at him now. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been won and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches, 
and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Just out of range with that left hook. He avoids the clinch. Nice kick right there. Gustafson gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Blocks that kick to the body, Joe. Oh! He's got to be careful here. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. All right, there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. Tagged him. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the cut on his nose, and you have to at least ask the question at this point in time. Maybe he's dealing with a broken nose. You certainly don't want to blow the nose. That will result in the eyes swelling shut but a definite source of adversity here after this round. And another perfectly placed strike. Amazing highlights from that round. I told you he couldn't keep up with you. Your pace is way too crazy. Dariani Celeste in the building as usual. And we are back for our third and final round. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. How about that chin? Throwing that jab, no good. Hands up, hands there, Joe. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. That kick lands. Good exchanges from both fighters. Nice jab by Alexander Gustafson. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Nice straight left and a right hand behind it. Landed a hard kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, this fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And you want to credit the offense and not denigrate the defense, but he did not get the guard up. And against this type of striker, you are absolutely playing with poison. So a near-perfect kick spells the end of this one here tonight. Great angle here. Boom! And then he's out. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. All right, here now Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 23 seconds of round number 3. Join the winner by knockout, go ahead, the Rebel Stockton. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward, but you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight. It's a women's bantamweight championship fight between Amanda Nunes and Chris Cyborg.
Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best man of weight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. As she makes her way to the Octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape. She is focused. She is motivated. And she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hard tail of the tape for this Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Three years apart, with the same height, and a similar reach. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, her team. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing the fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter. Will be a professional record of. 20 wins, two losses, and one no contest. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Chris Sabah. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on. 17 wins, four losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Amanda. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC Women's Bantamweight title is on the line. Splits the guard and connects there. Nice jab by Cyborg. Oh! It's a very good job of timing these punches. Oh, she landed that punch, Joe. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Welcome to the jungle. Well, she ate the straight hand there, and she's got to be careful now, Joe. I know she wants to be aggressive and set up her own offense, but she left the head wide open for damage there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Straight right hand, but she misses. That one hurt. Good shots by the champion. Nice one-two there. Man, I wouldn't be surprised if they called in the doctor and stopped this fight, courtesy of that cut, bleeding like crazy. Not good for her here. Oh, nice strike landed there by Cyborg. Effective use of the jab by her there. And lands a good shot. Well, now she's really doling out the punishment, Joe. Punches in bunches. Nice combination. 
Nunes gets lit up by that straight punch. Another punch to the head. She blocks that offense, Joe. Tries for a low single. Takedown. Beautiful sweep. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Holding that front headlock position. Very nicely done. Trying to spin to the back. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Excellent movement here on the ground. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Effective strike there by Nunes. In full guard here. Oh, keeping busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Postures up. Oh, she tagged her with the right hand there. Cyborg's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Well, you gotta stay busy from the bottom position. Can't falter here. She's doing a nice job. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, she's going for the triangle. Can't hold it. Nice hammer fist. Good oh, shot for the end of round one. There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Senta aí. Você foi muito bem nesse round. Inspira, inspirando pelo nariz. Brittany Palmer in the building tonight. Ready. Second round underway. Connects with the punch there. Nunez gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Landing a good series of strikes here. That's a oh. nice clean shot. Oh! This could be it! Hard uppercut! Now they're both throwing with power. Whoa! This could be it right here. She might try to finish this fight here. Oh, beautiful jab there by Nunes. How about that shin? And there's a takedown attempt. And she completes a single leg takedown. And she continues to effectively use the jab here, much like she did in the previous round. Until the opponent can stop it, you've got to go back to it. She's going out to the rear naked choke. Under three minutes now to go she in round two. She escaped the submission. Man, she is in constant pursuit of these submissions. Trying to get that arm under the chin. It looks like she's got the rear naked choke locked up. Now it's deeper. This could be it right here. Oh, look at that. Slips right out of it. She's working from side control. Joe, she's doing a nice job keeping busy here off of her back. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Ninety seconds remain in the round. Lands the right hand. Cyborg's lower jaw now, Joe, starting to show some signs of swell. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Now to full guard. 
Hammerfist gets through. Looking for a triangle, throws one leg over the shoulder. Looks like she's got that triangle locked in tight. Throw that leg down. Look at this. And that's the end of round number two. Let's look at that again from another angle. Let's see it one more time. Ariane Celeste with us tonight. Here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, she blocks the punch. Whiffs on the elbow. They continue to exchange. Wow! Whoa! This could be it! Jabs at will. Nice way to keep the opponent oh. at distance. This could be it. Look at this. Take down. Nice right hand. Look out for the arm. Look out for the arm. She's got that arm bar locked up. That is just an amazing technique. And she got her arm free. Wow, I thought that was it. Full guard here. She blocked wow. the punch. Oh! This could be it right here. Oh! I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. And this is exactly the way she drew it up. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Herb Keith on the stop of the contest at four minutes of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed history here tonight. Congratulations to the new champion of the world. And you can see her emotions are spilling over. And hard to blame her, given...
All right, coming up next, a middleweight championship fight between Nick Diaz and the Hall of Famer, Hoist Grayson. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own, 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life. The big... So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run a rough shot through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge today. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan. and He's ready to step in here and retain his title. Or kill the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Hergliata. And now... This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 3 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Horace Racing. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Body out of Stockton, California, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. Okay, I'm very you excited. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Right punch followed by a left there by Diaz. And he connects there. Dropping down, looking for a single. Gracie gets the early takedown. That did not take long. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. And a Kimura attempt here. And he escaped from the Kimura. Oh, nice punch there by Gracie. Inside control here. He's looking for the Kimura, trying to lock it up. It looks like the Kimura is locked in and tight for him. And he's free. 
Straight from the Kimura. He landed a left hand there. Now he's working from north-south. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. He's looking for Kimura. He popped out of the Kimura. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Nice punch by Diaz. Straight left. Oh, there's that straight left again. That one hurt. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Good job landing that series of punches here. Oh, he connects there. Oh, he lands another jab, clearly employing the jab effectively here. That punch will work right through the goal. And both guys really throwing with authority. Tagged him. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Diaz. Clean straight punch. Gracie gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Oh, beautiful combination. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh! Nasty combinations here. Hard straight punch. Good combination of strikes there. Excellent job of landing punches here. Oh! Big oh right huge here. right hand! Some of the action here. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. You know he's gonna come out and look to knock you down again. Brittany Palmer is in the building doing work as usual. All right, here we go with round two. Nice punch by Diaz. Right punch is good, the left also flush. Nice inside leg kick, very nice. Lands a punch. Just misses with the straight left hand. Joe, he's really got to start mixing things up a little bit more. Change levels, work the body a little bit. You know he's realized a lot of success working the head. Don't be afraid to work that body. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Gracie's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Whoa! Oh! The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble. He's trying to hang on oh! to keep his title. shots but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing so perhaps at this point he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes maybe alter the tempo a little bit and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to a striking attack so a much different approach for him here in this second round he was a little bit tentative in round one a little bit of a feeling out process now he has clearly found his rhythm found the range We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, we caught him with that right hand. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Look at this. Under two minutes now to go. And he escaped the Kimura. He's going for the north-south position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Nice punch to the body. Switching stances here. Keep 
keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, he tackled! Oh, he hurt him. Bad. Bad. Oh, he might be out. Just misses with the straight right. How good is that jab by Grace? Diaz is Calm down. We knew this was gonna be a brawl, okay? We knew it was gonna be blood, all right? We knew the protect. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. He's definitely gonna want to start this round off fast to try to pick up where he... Oh! Good combination! He's in big trouble. Nice takedown! Good punch. He's got excellent pressure from the top. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Diaz. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Oh, let's go finish this, guys. Come on. Look how light he is on his feet, too. Gracie gets caught with that punch. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Nice straight right leg. Oh, he got him. Oh. He is clearly in big, big trouble here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, another crisp jab lands flush. Nice way to keep the opponent at distance there. Diaz gets in the clinch. Single leg takedown is good. Gracie's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, man, I love it. He's attacking with the rear naked choke. He's got the arm of the chin. That choke is locked up. Looking for that choke. Trapped that arm. Very nicely done. He's got the hand behind the neck. He locks the hand down on the bicep. And he's free. In the Beautiful escape. That was a close rear naked choke. He's got side control. And he connects with the punch. And very effective with the ground and power. Big shot. Nice punch by Diaz. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. The fighter's eye is not swollen shut. I guess you can qualify that as good news, but it's starting to swell pretty badly, and you know the opponent is going to continue to attack it when we get to the next round. So the end swell is on. We'll see if they can get it down and keep this fighter in the fight. And let's get a better look at it from a different angle. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. You ready? 
Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so the championship medal of DC. Whoa! Oh, man! Oh, beautiful right hook. He's in trouble right now. Incredibly large volume of strikes, but this last one was the big one that landed for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, a pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at 40 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Royce Gracie. Well, he's been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight. And you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to accomplish. And it is going to take a special performance to dethrone the new UFC champion. All right, coming up next, the wait is over for this lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson. undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. Talented as 155 pounds. It is absolutely remarkable what this man. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Ferguson is four years the elder. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LaVey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it is... Championship of the world. Introducing course, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 
26 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, presenting the challenger, Tony Alpapui. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight. Schedule for five rounds if need be. seminal blow to finish the fight here in round one and that's exactly the all right the official decision is in it resides with bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen referee eve levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute of the very first round to play the winner by knockout and still So there he is, all smiles, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. And what a way to get it done here tonight as he gets it done with the knockout. You talk about maximizing a showcase. I'm just not.